One of the most common uses of the LRH series HMIs is communication with a micro PLC. Interfacing an LRH to an LRD series micro PLC requires a few simple steps. Let's take a look at them together. First of all, connect the RS-485 communication port of the micro PLC, terminals A and B, to the serial port of the HMI. You can use the special cable to facilitate the wiring. Open the micro PLC project with the LRXSW software and set the communication parameters. From the Operation menu, click on the Module System Set item. In the Set ID window, you can set the serial node of the micro PLC. Leave it, for example, at 1. Then, in the RS-485 Set section, set the serial communication parameters, for example, baud rate 19,200 BPS, data format with 8 bits, no parity, and a stop bit. Press Set to save the parameters and write the project in the micro PLC. Then, open the LRHSW software to configure the LRH series HMI. Create a new project this way and select the HMI model you have among 4, 7, and 10-inch models. Now you must define which protocol the HMI uses to communicate with the micro PLC, which in our case is Modbus RTU. From the Project View window, double-click on the protocol's item. Press the plus key to create a new protocol and select the Modbus RTU protocol from the drop-down menu. By clicking on the gray button under Configuration, you can configure the communication parameters, which must match the parameters previously set in the micro PLC. In the main screen, check that the ID node is 1, then click on COM to set the serial communication parameters, baud rate 19,200 BPS, 8 data bits, no parity bit, and 1 stop bit, just like before. Lastly, in the Mode field, configure the type of the COM1 serial port, in our case, RS-485. Click OK to confirm. Now you must define the tags in the HMI, the variables that we want to read from the micro PLC. To do so, double-click on the Tags item in the Project View menu on the left. Suppose, for example, you want to read the value of analog input A1 of the micro PLC. According to the Modbus manual of the LRD series micro PLCs, input A1 is mapped to address B11 hexadecimal, corresponding to 2833 in decimal, and is one word long. Press the plus key to create a new tag. In the Name field, assign a name, for example, Analog Input AI1. Then click on the Address field to configure the tag's properties. In the Memory Type field, select Holding Registers. And in the Offset field, enter the address of the tag in decimal. In our example 2833, add it to the value 400,000, convention used by the Modbus protocol for registers, thus obtaining 402,833. In the Data Type field, set the data type, in our case, unsigned short, which is one word long. Press OK to confirm. Now the tag has been created and can be used within the project. For example, enter the tag inside a graphic page from the Project View window. In the Pages field, click on Page 1. From the Widget Gallery section on the right, select a numeric field and drag it inside the page. To associate it to the tag you just created from the Properties window on the right of the screen, in the Value field, click on the Plus button. The window with the project tags opens. Select the analog input A1 tag. If necessary, use the scaling item to apply a small formula to scale the resulting value. For example, divide it by 100, like this. Now you can write the program in the HMI LRH series from here. Run. Download to target. Select the destination and click Download. Done. Now you can check the proper operation of the communication. Enjoy using it.